Hey, hi, and first graders. Today we are in lesson one, chapter one of Go Math. <clears throat> and you could see our learning goal already posted. Remember that your learning goal is the thing that you want to be able to do by the end of the lesson. This learning goal says, I can draw pictures and use pictures to show addition or adding two stories. So it's the idea that I could draw out pictures or use pictures that are already there to help me solve adding two stories. And a fancier word for adding two stories is addition. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our first screen. You should have a picture of a leaf on the first page. You can draw along with me and um, pause the tape, the lesson at any time that you need to. Okay, so the story that goes with this picture is um, we, have, we had three ladybugs that were sitting on a leaf, and then two more ladybugs joined them. So whenever I have a math story like that, I want to try to ask myself, what is it that I know, and what is it that I want to find out? So at the beginning of the story, we knew that there were three ladybugs sitting on the leaf. Let's go ahead and draw that. Here's one ladybug, two ladybugs, three ladybugs. You could leave them just as circles like that, or if you need to, you could draw the details of a ladybug. That is up to you. Then the other part of the story was that, the second part of the story was that two other ladybugs joined them. So those two ladybugs, this little guy was maybe flying through the sky right here. He's like, oh, that's a nice leaf to land on. And there's other little ladybugs there too. So I'm going to join them. Here's one ladybug. And then his friend said, hey, wait for me. I want to come along too. So these two ladybugs joined the three that were already there. So again, we want to go back to what did we need to find out? We needed to find out how many ladybugs were there in all at the end of that story. So this down here, it says, how does your drawing show the problem? It shows the first part of the story with the three ladybugs here, but it also shows the second part of the story. And if we go back to our learning goal about how we could draw pictures or use pictures to help us solve adding two problems, you could see how this is really helpful. Now, in order to find the in all, I want to count them all up. You do not have to draw numbers here. You could just draw a little dot next to it. Um, I do suggest that so that uh, we could be precise or super careful in our counting and not accidentally count something more than once. So here is one ladybug. Again, you could just draw a dot. You don't have to draw the number if you don't want to. Here's two ladybugs, three ladybugs. But then I keep counting. I count on. I, I keep counting to see how many more there are. I'm not going to start from one here. This is one, two, three. And I keep counting four, five ladybugs. So there are five ladybugs in all that are on the leaf, and I write my answer here. That is the in all, the sum, the total. Okay, let's go ahead to the next slide. You should be on the page that has the kitty cats here. Here they have some words and some numbers. Some of you are able to blend this and read it, and that's great. We eventually want to be reading all of our math words. This says two cats. This is an important sight word here, and. Two cats and one more cat. So two cats were sitting here. 
and this little guy walks along and joins them. So if I'm being precise, if I'm being super careful, I might mark the tops of these. One cat, two cat, two cats, three cats. And if I lose track of my counting, I know I wrote, made my dots already, so I can always go back. But I'm being super precise, super careful. One, two, three. You could see that they put the answer here for you. You'll want to try to trace that. This is a new tool I'm using, so I don't know how well I could trace it. That's not too bad. Three cats in all. You could see that our next picture is going to be about fish. It says, write how many. Here we have three fish. And there's our nice sight word again. One more fish says, hey guys, I want to come along and join you. Can I come join your group? We can play some games. They say, sure, come on, let's play. So let's count them. This is where using my dots to make sure I'm not counting something more than once really helps me. Uh, and I would maybe make the dot right on the fishy. So one, two, three, and I use my counting on strategy to keep counting from three. What comes after three? It is four. One, two, three, four. So three fish and one more fish is four fish in all. Then we get down to our bees. I'm going to go ahead and leave that to you to do on your own. I'll help you read it though. It says first you have four bees and you could see them right here. You'll want to count them carefully. Here's your important sight word, and four more bees. So remember to use that trick where you mark them as you're counting. So you could be very precise and very careful. You'll want to put your how many in all right here. How many in all the whole, the sum. Let's go to our next slide. This is about um, butterflies. This is the section here that it says on your own. I'll do one with you though, and then I think it'd be nice if you could try this other ladybug story on your own by yourself. So I'm reading, I'm reading the information that I have and I'm also looking at the pictures. It says that I have two butterflies. Here's our important sight word. And four more butterflies. So I'm going to mark them as I count. One, two, three, four, five, Six. So two and four more butterflies is six butterflies. I'll give you a moment to go ahead um, or just pause, pause this and go ahead and do this problem on your own. And then I do want to talk about, uh, about this problem down here. I want to work it together because it's, it's a nice challenge. Okay, if you've not paused the, t paused the um, screencast and worked this problem number four, you could do it later if you want. Uh, just make sure you're with me for number five here. Let's read it together. Evan, ooh, look at that important sight word. And Evan and Luke see eight worms. So eight worms in all. Luke sees two more more is an important word in math. Luke sees two more worms than Evan. Evan sees three worms. 
How many worms does Luke see? So we don't, remember, we always want to ask, what do we know about this story? We, um, we know that they see, let me see if I could mark it here. We know that they see eight worms in all. And we know that Luke sees two more, but we don't really have that number yet. We do know that Evan sees three worms. So let's go ahead and at least draw the three worms that Evan sees. Let's just draw circles for them, okay? Here's Evan. One, two, three. Notice how I have space in between my counters there. I think that's helpful in math so we don't get our counters too close together because then it can get confusing. And we go back to this piece that Luke sees two more worms than Evan. So if we want to draw that out, we need to make sure that this little circle is matched up with this little X. The X is going to be the worms that um, Luke sees. Okay, so he saw two more than Evan. So we know that he at least saw these three because Evan saw three. So they're matching. Those are the same. We need to keep counting two more to see how many worms does Luke see? They saw eight total. So these don't have partners. These X's don't have partners. There's no O's on tops. This is what Evan had seen, his three worms. We knew that Evan saw three worms. Luke saw two more. This picture shows that. Well, I would need to then, to be precise and to be really careful to make sure my math is correct, I want to go back and count all the X's and O's to make sure that I have eight worms in all. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do. I do. But eight is not the answer. We knew that Evan and Luke see eight worms. What they wanted to know, remember, is how many worms does Luke see? So if the circles were Evan's worms and the X's were Luke's worms, let's go ahead and count those. Just the X's. One, whoa, two, three, four, five. So Luke sees five worms. So you could see, going back to our learning goal, that using pictures can really help us solve adding two math problems. Um, it gives us something to look at and to go back and count, you know, how I was making the little markers on top of the pictures. It's really very helpful. Okay, nice work, boys and girls. We'll see you tomorrow.